Cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, we can get into the time to in a second, but I want to go back to that whole idea of immersion with hot women. Because mm -hmm. I think um, if I, I, I'm just trying to have a real client in mind here, right? So if we have a client, mm -hmm. Bob, he's too late count, he's pretty awful with women, he's a bit of a loser, doesn't have many friends, your typical, what you'd consider like a pickup client, right? Can, like can we make it, can we make him like 4'11"? Why don't we make him like 4'11"? Can we do that? Let's make him short okay. too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of like the average guy, right? So if you want to oh, make I mean, him like, we, I mean, we we could do the below brown. average. We could do the below average guy too, if you wanted. We could yeah, do that. Yeah, we could do the below average guy. Why don't we yeah, do that? Yeah. Let's do the below average guy. Sure, below average. Um, but I think if we think about like majority of students or clients that are coming to us, right? Uh -huh. I think if they just happen to get good um, around not being nervous around hot women, I don't think that equates to being good with women. It's one. No, but thing, that like, is one of the things many... that can equate. Yeah, it's one, one of the things, things but I that think there's so many guys that I think everyone here watching this can think of that is probably comfortable around a hot girl but isn't good with them. We can think of promoters, sure. we can think of photographers, we can think, I used to be a male nurse, right? I had many friends that were like in nursing that were around hot girls all the time, awful with women. Comfortable, they could be their friend, but awful with women. So I think if the main objective is some form of immersion therapy which pickup does anyway right maybe not the best with all the i don't programs, no, uh, marcus i'm then, sorry pickup does not pickup does not immerse you around hot women pickup immerses you around women at, at bungalow in santa monica women pickup does not marcus if you came to excess in, in in las vegas you would not be able to get on stage with the hot women i'm sorry i don't know you because i i'm on there every week pickup does not immerse you with hot women it does not cold or social circle immerses you with hot women so you're saying that hot women are only on the stage? No, I'm saying the majority for immersion for like a majority, a, a significant amount of hot women. Yes, you need to be at, uh, on being on stage is the way you are significantly around hot women on a regular basis. Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but yes. I, I think to argue that the, that's the only way you can be around hot women is crazy. You can just go to yoga. No, of course, no, of course, it's of course it's not. You again, you're, 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 again you can... Marcus, you're gaslighting me. That's not what I said for the third <laughs> wait, time. Wait, I did not say Michael, that's the only way. Let, let, I did Michael, not say Michael, that's the let, only let, way. Let, let, let him finish though, and then you can respond. Okay. Yeah, I, I think there's multiple ways to immerse yourself. I agree. Agree. If you can I'm get, glad on... we agree. <laughs> okay. Well, let me finish. If I can agree that if you can get guys into a party with a hundred, five hundred super hot women, yes, they're going to be immersed around hot girls, right? Of course. But I think that's a lot of effort. If that is just your goal to immerse people around hot girls, I think pick up immerses you around hot women anyway. You can go to a club, you can go to yoga class, you can do all of that. And for honestly, for a beginner, if you're picking like an under average four eleven brown guy. He's probably not after a 10 anyway. I think he's going to be super happy if he manages to get like a girl that is an eight, that respects him, that he's super nice, that isn't on Instagram all the time, that isn't trying to get to all these bikini parties, someone that just respects him and he's like cool around him, right? So I don't think like this argument of you have to be around 500 hot girls to be good with women fits, right? I, I just don't see how that would be like your main objective. Beautiful. Because you can, if you can bench press 300 pounds, you can bench press 200 pounds. So for my thing is, if you are comfortable around really attractive women, which one more time, I, I do not think pickup gets you really comfortable around attractive women because pickup doesn't put you around as much attractive women as cold approach as social circle does. Social circle puts you around more attractive women more frequently than cold approach period. And I can show you, we can go photo for photo. If you want, there's no argument. So if you're doing so, if you're more comfortable around 10s, then when you're around an eight, you're not going to be uncomfortable at all. And the 411 Brown guy, let's just, you want, let's just pull up the 411 Brown guy. Cause I got a bunch of them in my, in my, in my uh, group that do really, really well with women that have I mean, no we, problem at all. <laughs> okay. Sorry. You, you want to do that? We can, we can no, do this no, all day. I, I don't you think want. there's a need for us to like pull up photos of students around hot women or not. The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, Marcus, I think there is, I think there is a need for us to pull up students, uh, photos of students. I think there is because I mean, look, I, is, I'm agreeing with you that if you put a, yeah. uh, a brown 411 dude around hot women over time he will eventually get more comfortable like i don't think anyone needs to see photos of a brown guy with an instagram photo around hot women i think we can all yeah but you're that. saying that it's right. a lot of work to get him there and i'm telling you it's not it's not well we can talk we can talk about the work that goes into social circle versus cold approach in a second but just on that point of like lifting 300 pounds versus 200 pounds i don't think that's quite an accurate analogy right because i i think it's more lifting 300 pounds and now trying to squat i think there's a lot of guys that 
they're going to be after different things. And so if you're a guy that's just after like some Instagram girls or girls that like attend these parties, then that's one thing. And if you are just want to be comfortable around them, that's another thing. Now, if you actually want to be, you know, changing who you are as a person, becoming actually more dominant, more self-aware, more socially aware, be able to actually manage relationships, actually get good with women, not just like comfortable around or immersed around them, then I think you need something more like cold approach that can actually give you the ability to fuck up and actually teach you these skills. I, wait, I don't Michael, understand how before, that's gonna... Wait, Michael, real quick, before you, uh, you respond, I kind of took it for granted that everyone knew these terms, uh, but I think we should quickly explain it for the normies. So Michael, can you explain what social circle game is? And Marcus, you can really quickly explain what cold approach is. Perfect. Yeah, so, so social circle game, it, it comes from the concept of networking as an evolutionary adaptation. So it come, when, I, when I talk about social circle game, because I'm the only person who's ever taught it this way, is the idea of evolutionary psychology, the way that Dr. David Buss teaches it. Homo sapiens were created to have networks and the people who had the strongest networks had the most access to resources. So for instance, the leader of the tribe. So one of the things we teach in Men of Action is leadership. I'm a retired US military officer. I fought in Iraq and Afghanistan. I teach leadership qualities to the guys in my program. That's part of the social circle that I teach, which is why when he was saying before that social that cold approach teaches you leadership and those things. No, social circle teaches you leadership more than cold approach does. The, what, what I'm saying before is in the concept of social circle, it is bringing people together. The main concept is it comes from evolutionary psychology, the concept of mate choice copying. Mate choice copying is the idea that in a two gender species, when men are surrounded by more women, more women find them attractive. We found this in several two gender species, but especially amongst homo sapiens. So what we do is because in social circle, we teach men in order to be comfortable around women to have female teammates. The female teammates get them access to different locations. They calibrate them to other uh, females. And most importantly, they introduce them to other women. Those things allow them to be able to meet more attractive women quicker and easier by doing less work, not more work. And that's what social circle is. Social circle is people connecting to other people and the the network grows exponentially without you doing much work. So people who are really good at social circle, all their friends meet their girlfriends through them, all their friends get their jobs through them, all their friends meet their mentors through them, all their friends get their sponsors through them, several of their friends will find their employees through them. And that's what I am, I'm a connector of people. It's not just about dating, it's about all areas of life. It's the reason why I can get big guests on my podcast. It's the reason why I get invited on big podcasts is because I use social circle in order to be able to do that. And that's what I teach my clients. 